G'day guys, today we are looking at the slice with a driver. If you're a slicer, you might want to pay attention. We're looking at what I call the slice chain, and that's a series of events that it's a pretty good chance that it's going to result in a slice. So if you're slicing your driver, let's go get started. By the way, man, I really need a haircut, but let's go. <laughs> There's a couple of setup mistakes that I see on the lesson tee all the time, and they're people that slice the ball. And remember, a slice is when we have an outside in swing path and the face is open relative to that path. Now, if you're making this first mistake, you're probably gonna make the second mistake, and the second mistake, that's gonna lead to the third mistake, and obviously that's why it's a slice chain. So let's just fix issue number one. We might find that we solve all the issues. I know you guys don't need me to tell you that a slice is when the path is outside in and the face is open. Yes, you probably know that already. But let's chat about this slice chain and we're going to talk about it in reverse order. So first of all, we know that the issue for the ball curving to the right, the face is open relative to the path. Now to me, that's your body's way of trying to get the ball to go back to the target. So why is the swing path outside in? Well. It's outside in because in this case, and in many cases, the shoulders are open at address. Now, why are the shoulders open at address? They, they don't just feel like being open and open themselves up. There's a reason. We're gonna look at that in a second. But I do find that the shoulder alignment at address is almost more influential than where the feet are pointing. The number one reason why those shoulders are open is because the ball is too far forwards in your stance. Now I know that's a bit of a touchy subject and there could be a little bit of room here or there for forwards or back, but I'll show you where I like that ball position in a minute. Now if it happens to get too far forwards, let's say in front of that lead toe or in front of that lead shoe, then we're in trouble. Those shoulders are open, the chain is now in full effect. The path is gonna get outside in, the face will be open, and now we're slicing it in the trees all day. All because of that ball position. Guys, quick sidebar for a second here. Now, I want you guys to tell me, how long have you been slicing it for? And if you have really been struggling with that slice, what have you been working on? Put that in the comments down below for me. I actually started filming this video a couple of hours ago, and I had to stop, it got so cold that I had to switch mics, the lapel mic. Obviously, I've gotta have the jacket unzipped so I can connect it somewhere, but I had to switch mics, had to teach a lesson, and anyway, we're back now. Sorry for boring you with that. This is actually gonna be the first time I've swung a club since I was in California a couple of weeks ago at that Callaway event, so I don't know if you guys saw that video or not, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's all about driver fitting, got Sergio Garcia, Michelle Wee in there, Brody Smith, hole-in-one trick shots, Josh Kelly. Make sure you go check that out. I'm gonna put that link down below. It was a really good video, and a great time out at Callaway. But nonetheless, that's a couple of weeks since I've swung a club. Yeah, haven't even hit a wedge shot either today. Like zero balls, not one ball. Okay, there's no more getting around it. We're gonna have to hit a ball here. The back is not gonna enjoy it at all. But first of all, I wanna show you the deal with the shoulders. Once that ball gets too far in front, shoulders are gonna get open, path is gonna get outside in, face is gonna get open, slicing it like we said. Okay, I gotta come back in because this audio again, we can't get too far away from this mic, but we're gonna go first with good shoulder alignment, then I'm gonna move it forwards, and as I creep forwards, I want you to see how those shoulders open up. Okay, just in case you couldn't pick that up, I'm gonna place this across my shoulders and then you'll start to see where they're pointing. Okay, once those shoulders get open, like we said, then we're outside in. Trouble all day, I've said it a million times, but let's go hit a few shots. you what for right out of the gate not bad not bad not bad with that said more balls more swings no really more balls more swings okay so I crushed that one I'm gonna show 
show you guys a little setup station that you can put down to help with both alignment and ball position just to make sure that that chain never has a chance to get started we're going to start by putting one of these alignment sticks down on the ground pointing at the target then i'm going to put a second one down perpendicular to it to kind of form the letter t Make sure you take the time to get that first alignment stick down in the right spot, again pointed straight at the target. You might want to close one eye, line the shaft up along the alignment stick, make sure that it goes through to your target. Now that that one's all set, let's place the second stick down perpendicular or 90 degrees to that one that's laying on the ground. We're going to give ourselves about a 6-7 inch gap just to give enough room to let the club swing through without hitting the stick. Okay, so now you'll see behind me here that, yeah, I've got everything all set up. So now I can place my feet down and I wanna see that ball just inside of that lead heel. If it gets too far forwards, again, boom, we start in that chain, no happy days. Okay, we've got the face on view from the swing here and you'll see where I place the lead heel in relation to that alignment stick. Remember, inside of that lead heel is good. Up in front of that, we'll, we'll be standing on it with this alignment stick here. So that should help us avoid that. start to stand on that alignment stick and that ball gets too far forward, you're going to see those shoulders move around. It's going to be really easy ball position you want to drift back too far forwards if that's your tendency so again just making sure that we're not too far forwards if we do happen to get out of whack here and those shoulders are open you can see how easily that swing path would start to go outside in slices all day well guys that is it for today the slice chain not a good one remember if that ball gets forwards shoulders get open path gets outside in face gets open i know i've said that a bunch we're slicing it in the trees we lose money to our friends we don't have any fun playing the game of golf we don't want to do that so don't let the chain start guys if you like the video today go ahead and hit that like button if you have anything else you need some help with drop that in the comments below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell just so you don't miss out on anything feel like i'm talking fast but it's pretty cold anyway guys until next time good golf